At this moment, Cha Mu Jiol is confidently stating, There's still some time left after all. I want you to compete with me. President Jiang and Han Di Jun were both enraged, and Han Di Jun told him, Mr. President, may I beat some sense into him? But President Jiang was just silent. Nevertheless, Han Di Jun approached the president again and Mr. Jiang told him to wait. But at the back of his mind, he was confused if it would be a beneficial situation for him. And if it ends like this, this arrogant brat will get all the credit. But if RFC's very own champion Han Di Jun beat Cha Mu Jiol, according to President Jiang, Di Jun's level is far different, but if he gets distracted a little, it might be possible for Ki Won Gi to win against him. But Di Jun is not that dumb he will be able to win, and he will be able to retrieve RFC's reputation. Even, he will be able to ruin this brat's reputation. And according to President Jiang, Mu Jiol is an idiot. He is so drunk on victory that he became overconfident. Well, this sometimes happens. When you are too high on adrenaline you are bound to make this kind of mistake. However, he told Mu Jiol that an exhibition game is very aggressive, and it's not much different from a real fight. But Mu Jiol answered that it was okay. And President Jiang said if that's so. Mu Jiol and Champion Di Jun. Three minutes and two rounds. I will allow full contact in this match. And the people started cheering. I am also a man. I understand the desire to fight the strongest opponent. I have respect for that, President Jiang stated. As stated by this man with a gray coat, Mu Jiol keeps surprising them with an exhibition game after five consecutive matches. The exhibition game will be held using full contact sparring. And his companion said, it's allowed to attack all body parts. All right, will Cha Mu Jiol resume his winning streak? Or will he lose? However, Di Jun is taking his suit off and he has a huge buff body. He is now wearing also his gloves. And he's now ready to attack Mu Jiol. I acknowledge your courage but you making a mistake now, Di Jun stated. Mu Jiol told him, you're really talking a lot. Go and bite the mouthpiece if you don't want all your teeth to fall off. Nevertheless, Di Jun was enraged and cursed him at the moment. Before the match started, Di Jun sighed and said, all right let me beat you up. They were both ready for the fight and despite the sudden provocation, Han Di Jun is showing no sense of fear. That shows how professional he is. He lives up to his nickname, the glacier and he is showing a calm stance. And suddenly, Di Jun attacked Mu Jiol. He is using feint to do a takedown on Mu Jiol, and he is doing it quickly. After giving pressure through a takedown, he is attacking Cha Mu Jiol's body. The audience was also shivering while watching their fight. Di Ju asked Hai Min, Senior is that really allowed? Isn't that too much? Doing that to a common person who isn't a real fighter. And Hai Min answered, he beat five people consecutively and it's wrong to consider him a newbie. Gi Ju asked her, but still, as a champion, shouldn't he match his opponent's level? But according to Hai Min, this is exactly why President Jang Young Gil allowed this absorb exhibition game in the first place. He wants to show the overwhelming difference in their levels. Gi Ju said, if this ends like this, Mu Jiol will probably lose by a submission finish. Yeah, just like how every wrestler will. A wrestler who is excellent at ground fighting like Han Di Jun. Don't miss the chance when Mu Jiol is on the ground, Hai Min stated. Based on her, he will start pounding Mu Jiol, not giving him a chance to even breathe. And Gi Ju told her, but will he really do that to a high schooler? According to Hai Min, if he had the intention to go easy on a high schooler, he wouldn't have attempted a takedown immediately after the game started. Now Di Jun is attacking Mu Jiol, and suddenly, a brave Mu Jiol was slammed by the champion Di Jun and he was groaning in pain at the moment. Di Jun proceeds on doing the knee on belly technique. It is a technique where one put his knee on the opponent's belly in order to waste his adversary's stamina. And at this moment, Mu Jiol feels breathless. Di Jun is getting ready to punch him and said your wrestling skills are really dull. Why did you challenge me with those poor skills? According to Mu Jiol, Di Jun's eyes are still alive. Di Jun told him, do not get distracted. I will beat every part of your body slowly. However, while his mentor was watching them, according to him this looked difficult. If he tries to get in he will get pounded on the face. But if he stays like this he will run out of stamina. Di Jun was about to punch Mu Jiol and according to Mu Jiol, he needs to get out of it. And suddenly, his mentor shouted no. Mu Jiol do not raise your hand. But at this moment, Di Jun was furious. He grabbed Mu Jiol's arm. And he is sitting on top of Mu Jiol so that he can't move. But Mu Jiol knocked him down with all his force. And he told Di Jun, Do you think I'll let you do that so easily? Di Jun was shocked and according to him, this brat knows how to do an arm bar escape. However, with the quick judgment of Cha Mu Jiol, he succeeded in escaping the arm bar. It's impressive and it's very unbelievable, especially considering that he is an amateur. Di Jun cursed at the moment. Now the position is switched. Mu Jiol was about to punch his opponent. 
But, Di Jun grabbed his neck and arm. Mu Jiol was puzzled at the moment. Instantaneously, Di Jun was on top of Mu Jiol. And the position and now switched again because of Han Di Jun's scissors sweep. Mu Jiol seems taken aback. Mu Jiol was doing the clinch right away and he was shortening the gap to make any attack impossible. Di Jun told him, Whoa, you're tenacious, huh? Just give up here. But, Mu Jiol was just speechless at the moment. Di Jun asked him, Why can't you move your mouth? Whoa, you really talk a lot. Do all our FC fighters fight with their mouths? Cha Mu Jiol stated. Di Jun was about to attack him and said, You arrogant bastard. And luckily, Mu Jiol dodged his punches. Di Jun told him, Oh, you're coming out like that but it seems like Yim Jin Su didn't teach you how to wrestle. Then I should teach you some. Han Di Jun is at it again. He is doing the mount pounding. Di Jun turns the situation using the sweep technique and Mu Jiol is again in danger. Yim Jin Su was enraged and he gritted his teeth. According to him, the clinch didn't have any effect. How far is Han Di Jun that bastard going to attack? Mu Jiol is only a high schooler. Nevertheless, Di Jun punched Mu Jiol's face. He smirked and according to him, he can feel it in his fist even any professional fighter would feel it. Di Jun already hit his face. But at the moment, he was enraged and wanted to punch him again. Di Jun said, this brat, let's see how long you can endure this. His fist was about to hit Mu Jiol's face. But all of a sudden, the bell rang. Di Jun stood up and he was startled. Round 1 ends here and it was a round dominated by Han Di Jun single-handedly. As this is an exhibition game, there is still one round left. Cha Mu Jiol is brave. He took on the challenge of Han Di Jun in this match. As expected, it would be hard to close the level gap between a newbie and a champion. On top of that, the pounding at the end was quite scary and aggressive. Di Jun is wondering and according to him, he was sure he felt it. He was sure that he felt it in his fist. It's been a long time since I saw that kind of endurance. Mu Jiol's endurance is not a joke. However, his mentor was concerned about him because his right side is bleeding but Mu Jiol told him that it was just a scratch. Im Jin Su told him, Mu Jiol let's stop here. Honestly, it's impressive that you've come this far. You also felt how different your skills are, didn't you? It's a meaningless fight, you also felt it right. But Mu Jiol answered, Hyung, if you are my mentor, you should teach me techniques. Why are you spitting nonsense? And his mentor said, if I knew how to win, I wouldn't lose three times. That bastard's skills are no joke. And according to Mu Jiol, but still, if they were to find a way to win, he should block Han Di Jun's takedown no matter what. At least that way the match will end with equal damage between the two. So if he can do defensive wrestling, he will be able to shove him down. His mentor told him, Look at you being arrogant. You only practiced kicks for four weeks. There's no way you could win against him right now. But according to him, no need to worry because he will find a way. If he cannot, he just needs to learn how. He grabbed his towel, and he stood up and as he stated, he is going to discipline that damaged champion. And now the bell is signaling the start of the second round. Many of them are wondering how this round will proceed. Han Di Jun's merciless skills dominated Cha Mu Jiol earlier in round one. This round will likely be dominated by wrestling as well. Di Jun was enraged and at the back of his mind, Mu Jiol's already knew about the takedown using the feint that he did earlier. He will give Mu Jiol credit for his impressive punching skills. There's a high possibility that he will be countered if he uses the exact same takedown technique. And at the moment, he needs to consider the tackle setup more seriously. He will do the job first. In a situation like this usually, fighters who use their fist well will blow a hook using their front hand. Di Jun was furious and ready to attack Mu Jiol. But Mu Jiol is defending against the tackle using the sprawling movement. A front hand hook. Since it's a light hook, Mu Jiol was able to attain his balance quickly. And the sprawling movement was a surprise. With his ability to manage tackles, Mu Jiol is protecting a different picture than in the first round. According to Di Jun, it was some aggressive athletic ability. This brat must have watched a lot of matches. He was confused about what good luck Mu Jiol had but he's gonna change his strategy either and he's gonna still pressure Mu Jiol by wrestling. At that moment, Mu Jiol blocked his attack again using a sprawling movement. Di Jun was confused about how did Mu Jiol block it. However, Mu Jiol asked him what do you mean by how, and his fists are so very near to Di Jun's face. And suddenly, Mu Jiol punched his face and said, it's because I invested all the points I got to get more wrestling skills. And now the score is 0-1. The audience is all cheering. He hit him. Mu Jiol's front hand brushed against Han Di Jun's jaw. It wasn't that aggressive but Di Jun's head was shaking. Mu Jiol is constantly surprising them. He blocked the tackle attempts twice and gave Di Jun an effective hit. Now the champion's face is starting to look troubled. However, Gi Ju was shocked and said, Senior Han Di Jun's tackle attempts are failing. Right? He blocked it twice, Hai Min answered. 
and according to her, the match will change from now on. What Mu Jiol needed the most was enough distance to attack and he got it now. Di Jun was furious at the moment, and his mentor, Yim Jin Su was glad and told him, Yes Mu Jiol that's it. You little brat, how can you fight better than me? At this moment, Mu Jiol sighed and according to him, he is running out of stamina. He should win this in one go and if he carelessly keeps punching, he soon be out. Han Di Jun was confused if what he should do now. He was thinking about his setup again. It made him angry when he heard the person behind his back tell him, You damn champion. You aren't doing any better. What the heck are you doing? Just how are you a champion? His nose was smoky because of anger, and he breathes deeply. According to him, this is humiliating. He is really gonna look this pathetic, fighting against this tiny high schooler. And now he is ready to attack Mu Jiol again. But Mu Jiol was very attentive at the moment. Di Jun is rushing toward him. And at the back of his mind, does he really think it will make much difference if he is good at defensive wrestling? No matter how much he does the sprawl to defend himself or rolls on the ground and does the mount, it will end once I do the sweep. And he is approaching to Mu Jiol and said I am a champion. Mu Jiol was startled, but Di Jun was enraged. He prepared his fist and attacked Mu Jiol but he luckily managed to dodge it. Mu Jiol was shocked at the moment. Nevertheless, Di Jun was confused because Mu Jiol avoided his attack again. And based on him, Mu Jiol has really an animal instinct and it made him enraged. He was attacking Mu Jiol again and told him, How are you going to avoid this one? Go die. But, Mu Jiol was fast and he dodged Di Jun's punches. He turned around and did the spinning kick. Di Jun's ribs were hit and he was enraged at this moment. Im Jin Su was shocked and he remembered the days when he told Mu Jiol to do not to practice the back kick. According to him, it is hard to do huge movements in MMA. Mu Jiol told him that there are solutions for that, and he can approach with a punch, but when the opponent near him with a punch, he can try to match the timing, turn his head, body, and at the same time attack him with a kick. I'll prove it to you. He was shocked. When he saw Mu Jiol do the spinning kick, he can see the old Mu Jiol at him. All of a sudden he became emotional and at the back of his mind, that freaking bastard, Cha Mu Jiol. He didn't just leave his punching legacy. That was a very detailed attack. He precisely hit Di Jun's ribs. Now, he is having a hard time. And at that moment, he was enraged and cursed. Di Jun was confused that Mu Jiol isn't moving. He must be nearing his limit because he is getting tired. He was ready to attack Mu Jiol again. And his fist was so close at Mu Jiol's face. He was so furious but all of a sudden, he heard the announcer inform him that the match has ended. And in the second round, Mu Jiol was able to display his impressive punches and kicks. It was surprising. Mu Jiol was able to attack Di Jun with three effective hits. It is a humiliation for the champion Han Di Jun. The audience is having the time of their lives. They're shouting Cha Mu Jiol's name. And they just witnessed it. RFC just found a rising star in the middleweight class. Mu Jiol smirked when he saw that there was a notification window stating that win against a professional fighter. Accomplished. However, outside the room of their team, there was a reporter calling his name many times, and Yim Jin Su told them, Go. We are not doing any interviews. But they were insisting to talk with Mu Jiol. He was inside and he heard the voices from the outside. Mu Jiol breathed deeply, and according to him, finally, it's over. It was an exhausting day. He didn't know that he would have to fight this hard. He smiled and said, Thanks to Han Di Jun, I was able to get a lot of points. What a reward. He was confused about what he should upgrade to now, jiu-jitsu or wrestling. And suddenly he was startled. When there was a notification window explaining the quest, that will reach 300 points for the first time. The tab asked him if he wanted to participate in the first challenge mission. However, Mu Jiul was at home already, and he is still wondering about the quest. Suddenly a tab of first challenge mission appeared in front of him stating, Knock out a virtual MMA fighter. A number of attempts 0 over 30. Mu Jiol needed clarification about the challenge mission. Another tab appeared and according to Mu Jiol, skill update as a reward. He smirked and said, an amazing opportunity. Skills from the system are merely theoretical. Of course, there's a huge difference in knowing them theoretically versus practically. But, there's no need to think this over. Mu Jiol attempts the challenge, and all of a sudden he was startled. And a virtual MMA fighter appeared. Mu Jiol was on the octagon at this moment and his virtual MMA fighter was ready to attack. Mu Jiol was shocked and said, Is that me? And they are both ready for the challenge. This virtual MMA fighter started to strike Mu Jiol, and according to him, he looks like him but his fighting style is certainly pretty different. Unlike him, whose area of expertise is boxing, the virtual MMA is an all-rounder who is good at everything. But although he's better than Mu Jiol at wrestling and Jiu-Jitsu, he should be better than him at boxing. If he plays a little bit with his steps, 
He should win easily. However, the virtual fighter grabbed Mu Jiol's neck with all his force, until he fall down to the ground, and according to Mu Jiol, it wouldn't be effective if he only focus on polishing his strong skills. He needs to polish his weaknesses as well. But, Mu Jiol was shocked, when he saw the status window explaining that he lost the first challenge mission. The sixth round passed out due to a Dars choke. Number of attempts won over 30. When Cha Mu Jiol was at his school and he is thinking what was the problem. Perhaps he should have given more pressure. When he held the upper position in the second round, he succeeded in kicking twice in the third round. Or was it because he got hit by a low kick in the fifth round? In the fifth round, Mu Jiol passed out due to a high kick. In the fourth round TKO due to a light hook. Mu Jiol was hit in the face by his opponent. His adversary didn't stop attacking him. But Mu Jiol had a chance and he grabbed his opponent. And according to him, the grip is so shallow. But now the position is changing and the virtual MMA keeps punching him. Mu Jiol was standing at the moment and he breathly. Now I think I got it. Punch, kick, wrestling, and Jiu Jitsu, the system separates the techniques into these four categories. But in MMA, I think a cycle of those skills is applied. The attack then wrestling, wrestling then Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu then another attack, Mu Jiol stated. However, he was startled. When he saw a tab appeared and according to him, it was in a plus sign after the level and he was confused if this mean the skill leveled up from theoretical to practical. At the moment, they are still both fighting. Mu Jiol gained a wrestling plus and kick plus. Mu Jiol suddenly lifted up his opponent, and dropped the man into the floor. Mu Jiol started to attack his adversary, and at this moment, Mu Jiol was at his school and suddenly he stood up and said I did it. In front of him is a status window explaining his first challenge mission success. His skills have been upgraded and he has improved his weaknesses. With a challenging mission evaluation a plus. And there are two more left until he acquires the hidden reward. But Mu Jiol was confused about it and does it mean he has to repeat this whole thing twice. And it means he can't get the rewards right now. According to him, it was suspicious. However, his professor approached him and said, You seem to be having fun. Get out. And instantaneously, Mu Jiol was outside their classroom and he was punished by his teacher. But it seems nothing to him at the back of his mind he has to upgrade his skills constantly. And if he targets his final goal, he thinks the reward will just come automatically. Mu Jiol said, All right, I've trained enough now. Let's go on a search for some tigers. Meanwhile, at President Jiang's residence, he told Mu Jiol, You know, my father. There is one thing, though, that he said to me on a regular basis. Life is like a wave or something like that. According to President Jiang, he was too young at that time so he failed to understand what his father meant. He thought he must have gotten too senile as he was getting old, so President Jiang didn't pay much attention. While he was pouring a drink, he said, Now that I am getting old too, I understand what he meant. There was no one that could bring a wave over me, but I was good at bringing waves toward others. Living like that, I realized that to create a wave, wind is always necessary. That necessary wind is the presence of someone like a father, for example. President Jiang smiled while he was holding his sword to get him injured. He squeezed his fist and there was blood splattered. And he told Mu Jiol, the family doesn't always mean, you have to share the same blood. I'll be that wind for you. And President Jiang dropped his blood into a cup. He asked Mu Jiol, what do you think? By giving your blood like this. But Mu Jiol smirked at him. He told President Jiang, we can be a family by putting our blood together like this. So what are you trying to say? You are willing to be more like a father to me, despite your powerful title. I think that is what you are trying to say. I am sorry but I still have my father alive to this day and I don't think it's necessary to have two fathers. And according to Mu Jiol, the father and son relationship is too precious and special to be bought by just drops of blood like this. I think you need to at least cut your neck for that, Mu Jiol stated. But, President Jiang was startled after hearing it. However, Mu Jiol told him, I think you should stop your small talk and get to the point. I only came here because I am interested in signing a contract. I already read the contract that you sent through your secretary. Fight money, contract period, enforceable contract, renewal clause. As stated by Mu Jiol, fight money, behavior restrictions, compulsory good sponsor provision, regulations on the cut of the fight, and money if he refuses a match offer. All of those regulations and clauses are poison pills. But at the back of his mind, it's all the same as his past life, this room's structure, even the damn thing that President Jiang does. At the moment he was speechless. Mu Jiol was non-stop talking and asked President Jiang, how badly have you been treating your fighters to make a contract as evil as this? But President Jiang was just silent. From the other point of view at the RFC gym, some fighters are doing their workout. These three are gossiping about Mu Jiol coming today. 
According to this man with a black shirt, he saw an article that he signed the contract a few days ago. The man in front of Ki Wangi said I heard he signed the contract without an apprenticeship period. Does that make sense? But, as stated by the other man, they used to sweep the floor all three months during their period. Nevertheless, Ki Wan Gi told them, he is getting special treatment because he was in the broadcast. If only the deputy director Ki Wan Gi wasn't distracted, he could have executed Cha Mu Jiol. However, Mu Jiol was coming and he heard them saying that they will welcome him aggressively, and they will give him an opportunity for a sparring session. Hello everyone, Mu Jiol stated. But, these people ignored him. Mu Jiol smiled and a tab suddenly appeared stating, a hell for who, score as many KOs as possible during the RFC's gym welcome match. Knockout Ko is 50 points and Submission Ko is 1000 points. His thoughts on his colleague are points, and according to him, there are so many to eat. He smiled and said I am going to get all those points. Going back to President Jang's residence, he was silent at the moment, but suddenly he chuckled and said, I underestimated you, you have some brain, huh? Mu Jiol answered, of course. I need to be smart to be able to fight well, isn't that right? Nevertheless, President Jang asked him, why do I treat them like that? It's simple. It is because RFC is the only stage that is willing to accept them. To you, it might seem like this contract is unfair. But to them, RFC is a huge opportunity. If they continue to give a good impression, they know they will receive better offers and treatment in their renewed contract. The current champions are Han Di Jun, Kim Pil Seong, Jai Kang Ju, Ahmed, and Inao. They have been through this step before they become stars. Now they won't leave RFC even if they receive an invitation from the WFC. Mu Jiu laughed at him and said, That must be because they are not confident enough to tackle a bigger stage, so they are happy with being puppets on a small stage. Nevertheless, President Jang was enraged and told him, You are funny. You are underestimating those champions. Who do you think you are? A puppeteer, someone who will control and get rid of those puppets, Mu Jiol stated. But at the moment, President Jang was furious, and he asked Mu Jiol, What exactly do you want? Do you want me to increase your fight money, reduce your contract period, or a personal sponsor's allowance? And Mu Jiol answered, Well, I apologize if the introduction was long, but actually, there is only one thing I want. I want you to revise the proportion of the PPV bonus per match, that is enough. President Jang was shocked after hearing it. PPV is a subscription that allows subscribers to purchase movies or shows individually. It is a kind of pay-per-use broadcasting service. PPV sale is the main reason behind RFC's successful revenue model, especially in regions with huge populations such as Southeast Asia and the Middle East. The sale of PPV in those regions is dominating RFC's profit structure. President Jang was enraged and at the back of his mind, this Brad is requesting something that even Han Di Jun and Jai Kang Ju were not brave enough to request. This Brad is not only good at fighting, but he also has brains. He knows exactly what he is worth. However, President Jang got the cup of drinks and said I'll let you say it. How much are you expecting? And Mu Jiol answered, 7 to 3 and of course 7 for me. And I am not just all words. President Jang was just puzzled. But Mu Jiol continued and told him, If you are willing to give me that much, it would be easy to prepare myself for a few evil clauses. And I have one condition. President Jang was startled and speechless. On the other hand, at WFC gym, when Mu Jiol came, all of them were speechless. Ki Wan Gi told them, Let's start with a warm up. And according to Mu Jiol, he had no intention of bonding with the others in the first place. But it is really obvious that they really hate him. T1 Gi said, let's start, sidestep, burpee test, scramble training, three sets, taking turns. And suddenly this man grabbed Mu Jiol. Mu Jiol thinks about how grateful it is to have his opponent roll over easily, when he is running out of stamina. And all of a sudden, T1 Gi told them, let's stop the drill training until here. As you can see, there is someone new that has joined our training. As usual, we need to hold the welcome match, don't we? And all of them answered yes. According to Mu Jiol, this is the start that he has been waiting for. Ki Wan Gi said we will follow the MMA rule, one round two minutes. It is a match setting where the gym members have to take turns to fight the newbie. But at the back of his mind, today's welcome match will be a little bit different. He asked Yung Su if he wiped all the gloves. But, according to Yung Su, he didn't have enough time to wipe the 12 on gloves. Then Ki Wan Gi said that they will use the 10 on MMA gloves. A man in a white shirt said, the 12 ons is so tiny. You will not be able to find it if it's hidden somewhere. And a man with a black shirt answered, well, many think he did well because of the broadcast, but let's see. This man said, yeah, whether the broadcast is real or not, let's just see. Let's prove to him that we are different. Ki Wan Gi informed them to start once they are ready. He smiled at his companion, 
and he remembered the time that they were planning their strategy. Ki Won Gi told his companion, let's start by warming up to waste his energy, and focus on attacking him by keeping him close. This man said, as you all know, in close proximity, it is necessary to have a smooth connection when attacking and wrestling. In a condition where he lacks stamina, he will find it difficult to avoid pressure as he struggles to maintain a decent connection. Mu Jiol was preparing and at the back of his mind, he thinks that it was a quite nice strategy. They have analyzed the weakness that he showed during the real fighter. No matter how great he did there, it's a matter of fact that my opponents were not professional fighters, they were just ordinary people. On top of that, in the case of Di Jun Hyung, luck played a lot as part of his victory. These fighters endure hard training sessions every day. They are definitely on a different level than his previous opponents. This man is Park Sang Hyuk, RFC middle class 38th place. He was approaching to Mu Jiol and started to attack him. But Mu Jiol dodged his strike. This man with a green shirt said that was close. He could have hit Mu Jiol. And his companion told him, Mu Jiol is unexpectedly good at blocking attacks. However, Mu Jiol grabbed his opponent's neck and kicked him. This man was enraged at the moment. Mu Jiol carries his opponent and this man was confused about what happened. He was groaning in pain, and suddenly, Mu Jiol dropped him on the floor. He was about to punch this man and according to his opponent, Mu Jiol is stronger than what he heard of. They said he didn't know anything about how to connect movements. He was planning to catch Mu Jiol's fists, but Mu Jiol pulled the hand of his adversary. This man was groaning because of the pain that he felt. His companion was startled. And according to Ki Won Gi, he was defeated by Mu Jol using the guillotine of course he should do at least this much, as he expected this to happen somehow. However, Ki Won Gi called the next fighter to go up. He is Jang Su Hyun, RFC middle class 30th class. He smiled and said, nice to see you, boy. But Mu Jol was just silent and at the back of his mind, his opponent looks obnoxious. He was puzzled when he saw a status window in his front. And he smirked and according to him, he was getting lots of points. The status window explains that a reward of 100 points has been given. This man smiled, and he rushed to Mu Jiol. And as always he was ready for the attacks. Jang Suyun strikes him. And according to Mu Jiol, it was a backspin elbow. However, Ki Won Gi said, be more delicate when you attack. Measure your distance carefully. Mu Jiol grabbed his opponent's neck and according to him, he knew he was going to get played but it was too much. This man silently said I will not stop, let's constantly attack him. Suddenly, Mu Jol sees his hand and block his foot. Instantaneously, Mu Jol carried his opponent. This man cursed and he was confused if this is really happening. As he pushed his adversary, Jang Su Yun told him, Do you think I will let you attack me easily? At this moment he was enraged. Mu Jol was punching him and according to him, this brat is doing dirty boxing. His linking is bad and he cannot predict his moves. Mu Jol is really different from what they analyzed last week. He struck Mu Jol but he was fast and he managed to dodge. He kicked Jang Su Yun and he was startled. At the moment, Mu Jol did the flying armbar that easily. Jang Su Yun was enraged and according to him, he could let Mu Jol win once he was on the ground. Mu Jol smiled and said, it's going to end. And he was still attacking Jang Su Yun badly. He cursed and based on his statement, Mu Jol is changing his grip to Amaplata. It is a submission skill from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He was confident and said, let's try to get out using strength then. And suddenly he was puzzled because he hadn't given any strength. But Mu Jol made another attack. He choked his opponent using his legs. He was groaning in pain and Mu Jol told him, you brought this upon yourself by starting off with the elbow, didn't you? Nevertheless, Jang Suyun surrendered himself and said, you won and Mu Jol stopped attacking him. These fighters were all shocked, and Mu Jol told them, I see, you all want to do this seriously. That's fine with me, please get up here. Mu Jol called the next fighter, but all of them are silent. Ki Won Gi was startled. Although no one said it explicitly, everyone in the gym would agree. Cha Mu Jol is now a whole different person from when he was a real fighter, especially fighter Ki Won Gi who fought with Cha Mu Jol once. He would realize that fact. Ki Won Gi was speechless and at the back of his mind, he is really the Cha Mu Jol he saw back then. However, this man confidently told Ki Won Gi that he wanted to fight Mu Jol. He is B Nam Hyun, and he is RFC ranking 33rd place. But before he fought Mu Jol, Ki Won Gi asked him, Do you think you can do it? Didn't you see those who rank above you losing to him? And he answered, I don't know about anything else, but I am confident I will lose to no one if it's in boxing. Ki Won Gi told him, that's true, you've already won a lot of boxing competitions, but this one isn't a boxing match. Then I will try to provoke him, B Nam Hyun stated. At this moment, he approached Mu Jiol and told him, I see, you're all about punches, huh? But Mu Jiol was just silent. 
Dam Hyun smiled and said, But I am sure that your boxing skills are nothing compared to mine. Nevertheless, Mu Jol smirked at him and asked him, Is that right? Then should we do some boxing? Dam Hyun answered gotcha, and he is approaching Mu Jol. He was enraged and he silently said, You are dead. You bastard. He started to attack Mu Jol, but suddenly he was puzzled. Mu Jol was just looking at him and at the back of his mind, he would use a shoulder roll. Nam Hyun keeps striking him but Mu Jol always dodges his attack. However, Ki Won Gi is seriously watching them, and according to him, the shoulder roll stance it's often done when sparring with beginner level officials. Nam Hyun is doomed. Ki Won Gi said that's just sparring for that bastard. Perhaps this is just like a rest for him. Nam Hyun was furious and he rushed to Mu Jol. His fists are about to hit Mu Jol's face but according to him, Nam Hyun is just putting on such a show. Mu Jol immediately dodged his attack but suddenly he punched Nam Hyun. He was hit and blood came out from his mouth. Mu Jol defeated his third opponent again, and all of them are shocked. His nose is smoky because of annoyance. While he was standing, he breathed deeply and according to him, it was a nice rest. Now he can increase his tension and get ready for the next fight. However, Ki Won Gi shouted, Kyo Jin. Just use all methods or skills you can. But, Hyo Jin was confused. Nevertheless, Won Gi told him not to think of any sparring manners. And he answered, Yes, sir. Just leave it up to me. And suddenly, they were both fighting at the moment. But, Mu Jol hit him. He cursed and he was confused about Mu Jol's punch. He was ready to strike Hyo Jin. He rushed to Mu Jol and kicked him. But it didn't hit him. Mu Jol was enraged and according to him, Oblique kick, is he really using this kind of skill in sparring? This man smiled after setting up the oblique kick. Now he uses feints and kicks Mu Jol's leg. He was furious and gritted his teeth. But Hyo Jin struck him with his foot and it was hit in his stomach. Hyo Jin pointed at Mu Jol's eyes. And Mu Jol was startled. Hyo Jin grabbed his shoulder and Mu Jol was just puzzled. And he suddenly hit Mu Jol with his head. He fell to the floor and he was groaning because of pain. And according to him, this bastard Hyo Jin did butting. It is a foul action by attacking the opponent with the head. There was blood coming out from his nose and Hyo Jin was planning to jump up on him. And luckily he was fast and he rolled to avoid being hit. And suddenly he pushed his opponent using his body. This man asked Won Gi, Sir what should we do? And he answered, Don't worry Jin has good control over his lower body. You cannot attack in that position. According to Won Gi, he should not show his armpit, just not the armpit. However, Mu Jol grabbed Hyo Jin's neck and kicked his leg. He carries his opponent, and he slammed him on the floor. Hyo Jin was startled, and suddenly this man was furious and he went up to the stage. He grabbed Mu Jol's shirt and asked him, This bastard, how dare you do the slam in a sparring session? Where do you come from? Did your gym not teach you basic manners and skills? But Mu Jol held his hand and said, Why am I not allowed to do that? His sight darkened and he struck this man and said, Elbow, oblique kick, eye poking. Face stomping wasn't this sparring session created to torture me. Or is it just the manner of this gym to attack someone ferociously? Mu Jol was enraged and told them, If you want me dead then you have to prepare to die as well. According to Mu Jol, despite this gym only having a few fighters to fight him, it was nice to be able to smell the scent of pain relieving patches around here. He believed that they would be able to at least interact with each other when they are in this gym. But maybe he just expected too much. And he suddenly let go of the man. Mu Jol asked them, What are you doing? Are you guys going to just stay here in the octagon? Are you all hoping for a royal rumble or something? Is the welcoming match over now? But all of them were just speechless. These men are all annoyed by him. And Ki Won Gi was startled after hearing. Mu Jol challenges him to get up to the octagon because he will destroy him. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Till next time.